Dear participants, thank you for waiting. We are going to start now. Let's start. Dimitro Tuzov, Tatiana Denelenka. Today we are moderators. Please tell us about the format, timing, and other things. Um, so this is the day of debates. We know that on the 25th of October, we will elect local power. And today we are going to listen to the candidates and their representatives about what they are going to do if they win. And we will be able to ask questions. The main question is whether you are able to be friends of Kievans, uh, not the friends of uh, uh, construction companies. So we have many challenges in Kiev. And do you know how to resolve the main Kievans problems? And we ask you not about some um, compromise, but about what strategies you are going to present to Kievans. So we are going to speak about the strategy during this event. And people should get concrete answers without uh, uh, and uh, we invited here the representatives of eight teams, team uh, eight candidates of these elections. One of the candidates uh, didn't come. And Dnipro, uh, Dmitro will tell you who are these candidates and these teams. They um, uh, were surveyed on Campus 3.0. This is students' community and they expressed their opinion whom they wanted to see in these debates. Before presenting our candidates, I would like to say that we collected questions through social media, we adapted them somehow, and uh, I would like to say about timeline. I understand that this is not a parliament, but we have many participants. Unfortunately, not much time, so we are working in blitz mode. We have 1.5 minutes for answer. This is enough time. This is 90 seconds. That's why I believe that our debates will be concentrated. So uh, we introduce our participants. In alphabetical order. Not in accordance with rating. Irina Virishuk from Seven Party, Evgeny Kuleba represent this candidate. Sergei Gusovsky for the future. He will represent his position. Um, Igor Ilenka, Yuri Saratyuk, Svoboda, and Yuri Levchenko will represent uh, the People's Power Party, and he will represent his strategy. Acting Mayor Tagličko, um, uh, he um, is not participating in these debates. This is sad. And uh, Klitschko's team didn't respond our invitation. But if during our meeting Vitaly Vladimirovich appeared in the studio, we will put a chair for him here. Uh, so Alexander Rak represents Sergei Pritula team, Golas Party, Mikola Tomenko, um, native country Denis Marchuk is the representative you um, first of. Um, he represents his strategy personally, and also we have Konstantin Shakava, um, joint action team. They will analyze the strategies of the candidates, and then we will provide analytical material that we will hand over to the elected mayor, and we hope that this plan will be implemented. And uh, always strategies. These are not just words. Konstantin will collect them in a single document and will present to a person who will be elected as a mayor of the city as analytical materials from different candidates. So we start first thematic block. Dmitro will briefly outline the timeline. We'll have four blocks, thematic blocks. In each block, we'll have two questions to each of the candidates. And uh, we will have 1.5 minutes. We will follow this timing in order to have equal conditions for all the participants. So I have a timer. 
And the first block is really broad. This is quality of life of Kievans in Kiev city. So first about what is of concern for many people in the capital. We accumulated a lot of questions and often people are concerned about obsolete housing. On balconies, they are just uh, fall down. This is about uh, um, obsolete housing. How are you going to resolve obsolete housing problem? And we start with Evgenia, please tell us how your team is going to resolve this problem in Kiev. We have many obsolete buildings. Uh, they are not in good shape. There, there are many uh, buildings that were built during Stalin and Khrushchev times. And uh, newly constructed buildings, they become obsolete in, with time. And what is the strategy to resolve this problem? Please, you are given the floor. So we may vote who is going to start. How can I forbid to vote to the candidates? Maybe we should uh, take down these uh, portraits of those who are not present here. What is the logic? Why should we double things? So the representative will pre uh, present the position of the candidates who are for this decision. From the start of the debate, we see unanimity among the candidates and their representatives. The main is that when they resolve the problem of Kievans, they should be united in this. This is an interesting moment. Old Greeks said that uh, those who are not present lose lose, but I believe Klitschko um, um, and Tamienka, they uh, win because they, uh, their pictures remained in the studio. Um, Evgenia, we start with you. What is your plan of action? So, good afternoon. First, I would like to say I speak a lot with our candidates and The issue of housing is of concern. We plan to work with this um, topic uh, and we will be guided by social equality in this. All Kievans pay taxes, but there should be transparency in this issue and there should be proper contribution to repairs, repair works uh, uh, for obsolete housing. This is a global systemic problem, and I believe that this problem should be resolved. We should get united with those who think alike and to resolve this issue at a global level, those problems that are uh, accumulated in the city. And this is not only about unsatisfactory state that people do not like. This is the issue of security, first of all, safety. And in Pazniaki region, there was an accident and there are obsolete systems and uh, this poses a threat to the city. And uh, there should be gradual rejection of uh, gasification. We should not use radical measures. So the main is to get rid of this gasification. Uh, Sergei Gusovsky, you are given the floor. This is a very important question about obsolete housing. I believe that this is only one small component of the fundamental problems with uh, obsolete things on the whole. And the main problem in the development of the city is the obsolete master plan and inadequate strategy. That's why I believe that this uh, uh, resolution of obsolete housing problem, it is it won't happen because the master plan does not correspond to the requirements of today. And the main task for the next mayor, for the next 
Council of the City. This is initiation of the development of modern strategy and master plan that would correspond the strategy. So this will provide for the development of new housing that would be used in order to provide opportunity for those who live in obsolete housing in uh, how, uh, that who, uh, so these obsolete houses they should be demolished or they should be renovated so new opportunities will appear uh, to provide people with housing. There should be clear rules and uh, we will be able to resolve these problems using these clear rules. And uh, we uh, will put some specifying questions to Mr. Gusovsky. The question is, do you have such a strategy? Are you going to develop it in case of victory when you become a mayor? Uh, this is categorically important that uh, this strategy should be uh, the ju uh, ju uh, joint effort, the result of joint effort. Uh, uh, there should be clear discussions um, with the community. Uh, solutions should be provided and then uh, we will be able uh, to have, the, there should be proper public hearings, not like they had it before. And then the strategy will appear and all the community of the city should participate in its creation. And the Ilienka Svoboda, uh, 120 uh, romanticists and strategists go uh, to the council and we see that there are strategies of Komnitsky uh, uh, and others and uh, we should look at what was done and how it revealed itself, if we are speaking about the strategy, about the strategy of development of city, Soviet potential of development of Kiev exhausted itself. Uh, this is also about infrastructure, engineering uh, systems, uh, um, uh, round uh, uh, road, um, and uh, there should be new master plan. We demanded uh, uh, for this plan for five years and uh, there should uh, uh, and uh, we should carry out an audit of master plan uh, we should identify what we lack uh, housing uh, russian um, candy shops uh, um, uh, housing kindergartens and uh, i believe that kiev has uh, a big future as the conglomeration and we should attract investment here we should work on master plan we should analyze what was done first and this master plan should be adopted um, on the website the community should participate in this and also who will adopt this master plan now it was adopted by the developers so uh, this is also about, and what about uh, Khrushchevkas, the houses that were built during Khrushchev's time? So it is important to understand uh, how renovation is going on. Uh, they should have a complex method how to do it. We know this wonderful word renovation when obsolete uh, housing get demolished and new housing is built but we should not have proper plan how to do it correctly so there is no proper infrastructure uh, Yuri Levchenko. i would like to thank to the organizers for this discussion and i encourage our listeners to Follow those who are not present here today, especially Vitalia Klitschka, who has not even send, uh, sent his representative here. Looking at the residential problem and its persistence in Kyiv, we find out that there is a single uh, problem. This is zero tolerance to corruption uh, in the municipal uh, authorities. Uh, unless the uh, city's uh, 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 authorities work for the sake of the citizens without corruption, 
we won't be able to resolve the problem uh, that is to restore what could be restored and to demolish what could not be restored and build something new. Those uh, residential houses which could be restored uh, should be modernized uh, on the account of the city. And we have money, something like to uh, to Bilan Hrivnia. Uh, uh. Instead of construction uh, or modernization of the uh, high highway bridges uh, uh, <clears throat> near Sholavska metro station. Uh, uh, the, uh, and uh, we may use the domino principle when uh, trying to renovate uh, the, mm, mm, the old Khrushchev uh, time buildings. You should build one big new building, then uh, relocate residents from the neighboring Khrushchev style building. A residential house and uh, then use the domino principle to do this with the neighboring houses. Uh, this brings us to one more problem. Currently, many condominia um, has uh, been created, and now the authorities keep saying that since you are the condominia, uh, condominium, uh, the residents should bring their money and uh, make uh, modernization on their own account. In 1990s, we had a big crisis with the uh, utility and residential payments, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, resulted in a big corruption in our management uh, companies, state uh, management companies of the residential fund. Now we need to add more transparency in this uh, uh, residential uh, housing management companies, and we have to do the audit of this um, residential fund, and then in line with that audit, we have to produce the plan of capital expenses for modernization, and then look uh, at the condominium, uh, uh, the condominia. When the residents of one building, they uh, take responsibility for the management of this building, uh, uh, it's quite clear that they most probably would be unable to make the overhaul of this building immediately, only after some time. And at this moment, they should be able to get access to uh, finance in uh, order to find uh, is it realistic? Yes, it looks like realistic. There is uh, such a program now. Uh, 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 it exists, but this is 95 to 5 uh, or 80 to 20 percent. So, in theory, the money are allocated, but they are not used. Denis Marchuk, representative of Mikola Tamenka, uh, Tamenka from the native country party. Uh, I'm happy to be here because this proves that young people um, do not stay aside from the local politics. And I invite young people to come to the polling stations. Let us not invent the bicycle. Uh, uh, many post-Soviet countries like Lithuania, Poland, uh, uh, 
uh, they had to resolve similar issues with the, uh, the um, uh, urban constructions, and uh, they more or less successfully resolved that problems. They modernized the old buildings, they constructed something new, and we can successfully apply that experience. But in order to do this, the residents of Kiev should be able to approve the master plan and work it together with the municipal authorities. Um, and uh, oh, we should uh, not, uh, for example, do such uh, uh, silly things as construction of the bicycle ways on the bridges which are uh, worn already and uh, throw out uh, tons of money on that uh, impractic impractical step. So Campus uh, Zero uh, dot one was uh, mostly supported by the students' community. Yehor Firso from the Environmental Party. Please tell your about your plan. How you how you plan to resolve the issue with the new housing? Environmental alternative uh, tries to stay proactive. In this budget, uh, there are funds allocated for modernization, and uh, this amount of money should be increased. We believe that it should be increased by 10 or 15%. Then we should look at the condominia, at uh, those uh, places, uh, at those points where people wish and are able to resolve these problems. And uh, then the problem of uh, networks. Uh, um, even if water canal uh, supplies the excellent uh, quality water, uh, the water which passes through very old and very um, network uh, comes to our houses uh, in very dirty condition. Uh, but uh, the uh, Utilities uh, do not take uh, that money which is allocated for modernization of water supply network because they want to um, implement their corrupt schemes. Uh, thank you for your interventions. It will be analyzed and then supplied in written transcript. Uh, and now payments for utilities. What do you plan to change? The life cycle of those networks should be finished. That is, we have to carry out uh, uh, modernization, involve loans for this, and calculate how much people will pay. Uh, how much uh, this will add to tariff. We did our calculation and came to conclusion that key events can be provided with the quality portable water without the raise of tariffs. Uh, 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 but in order to do this, we have to inform people how to change networks. Uh, well, so uh, who will proceed? Unfortunately, uh, 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 people pay excessively quite often for the electric energy, for gas supply, for water supply, for 
heating supply and uh, we while uh, we pay excessively for heating we all know that uh, our CHPs they are obsolete they are not uh, modernized and uh, uh, mm, uh, uh, then we uh, pay excessively for electricity the same is true uh, about gas supplies there is separate uh, price for uh, gas and for gas supply the same is true for electricity while we like citizens we pay excessively so we have to deter determine which tariffs are satisfactory, which tariffs should be reviewed. But here we should note that in Umad, people pay 2.5 thousand hryvnia for heating because in Kiev we have metering devices for heating this emphasizes that metering is uh, very important do you have uh, analysis of the municipal uh, tariffs uh, uh, i can tell you that uh, the electricity uh is overestimated so it should be decreased what should be increased perhaps uh, garbage collection and waste management uh, the payments for that services should be increased uh, because we have to add more and think environmentally in terms of uh, uh, garbage uh, collection and waste management. It was Denis Marchuk from Ridna Karayina or Native Country uh, Party, uh, now representative of Mr. Pritula. Not all the tariffs could be imposed by the municipal authorities. Uh, uh, much of the tariffs are set by the National Commission on Utilities and the Services Regulation. Uh, but we do not think that we should increase tariffs immediately because we do not have transparency and we do not understand how many tariffs are set in some enterprises, service enterprises. Perhaps we should do the audit uh, to realize where the tariffs are excessive and then use this excessive money for modernization of the network. So then we uh, could be able to think whether this or that tariff is fair mm -mm, and uh, whether garbage collection tariff is fair, for example, and then change tariffs. Uh, uh, so the first uh, step should be to audit everything to understand what we have. Uh, we have to do the audit uh, the networks because we do not know how very they are. How much time would your team uh, need to clarify the situation with the uh, energy supply networks, with the um, heating supply networks, and with the garbage collection network? Uh, oh. Part of the tariffs are set by the central government. Some tariffs uh, are set by the municipalities and uh, Svoboda party uh, uh, insisted during its previous term uh, that uh, the 
tariffs uh, for the municipal services should be decreased. Uh, also, you know that uh, for 17 years, uh, the electricity supply and uh, heating supply uh, in Kyiv was uh, uh, in the hands of Renata Akhmetov company. Uh, uh, our initiative was uh, to uh, terminate the contract between the city and uh, Ahmetov's company and uh, then make a moder uh, modernization of the networks, heating networks, electricity, etc. But uh, 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 as of now, the electricity supply and gas supply remains the monopoly. I have a draft law about uh, uh, um, deprivation of the 30% of uh, uh, electricity and gas supply uh, to the state. But the Kiev mayor uh, powers or mandate does not allow you to interfere into this process. Uh, the generation, uh, uh, heat, uh, electricity generation in Kyiv is uh, now in the property of the Kyiv Council. Uh, I would like to point uh, out that Serhi Pretola, the voice uh, uh, representative Serhi Pretola, promised to uh, raise tariffs. The Kievans have to understand who is responsible for what tariffs, uh, because uh, quite often the tariffs go up uh, and uh, uh, we do not understand that uh, uh, this is said by the Kiev Municipal Council and Klitschko. Uh, when the uh, fees for maintenance of the courtyards go up and uh, uh, this is uh, done with the signature of Klitschko. Let us look at Kiev gas and Kiev uh, water canal. Some people believe that these uh, companies are state companies, but the municipal council uh, has the um, is the majority shareholder in those uh, uh, companies, and they are able thus to uh, uh, offer tariffs. Uh, um, uh, to the uh, uh, National Committee on Utilities Regulation, while the Kiev gas is today chaired by husband of Yulia Lovachkina, uh, who is a corruptioner. Uh, the statement about possible raise of tariffs uh, was made by Sergei Pretula only after the order. Uh, Pretula mentioned that for the increase of portable water quality, perhaps the raise of uh, uh, tariff would be needed. Uh, Sergei Husovsky in a complicated issue of tariffs, there are some uh, components. First of all, the, whether the uh, tariff is responsibility of the regulator, of the national regulator, or it is the responsibility of the municipal authorities. And uh, um, in this case, if this is a municipal tariff, then it should be set transparently with participation of key events. Then the next moment, uh, pay for what you consume. Uh, 
uh, that is so-called about infrastructural decentralization. If we have an individual metering in the houses, it is possible to pay for what you consume. If uh, Kiev Energa has not replaced or modernized uh, the heating pipes outdoors, then you should not pay for, for that. Uh, then the city is responsible for many services. Last year, 130 kilometers of heating pipes were changed, and while well, we have 700 kilometers of pipes in the city, and the city has to resolve this problem. Evgenia Kuleba. In the context of tariffs, the biggest task of our team is to uh, to do maximum uh, awareness raising com campaign. The key events should know how tariffs are formed and how they can influence their uh, bills. We have to explain. Uh, the explain the advantages of energy saving programs uh, and uh, to stimulate proactive positions of the citizens and uh, of course uh, we should uh, gradually uh, do overhaul of all the supply networks uh, because uh, if the heating network uh, uh, stimulates losses of heating and uh, resources uh, uh, that, uh, and people have to pay for it, then it should not be like this. Uh, uh, wh what else is important? To work with key events uh, uh, that they should uh, uh, monitor the quality of services, sufficient quality of services in line with what for they pay. Um, that is the quality of maintenance of courtyards, the quality of maintenance of uh, 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 water supplies. Uh, I, I always uh, had been wondering why uh, uh, we cannot reach a situation when the first uh, uh, we should uh, uh, put pipes into the pits and then pave that pits with asphalt. Uh, we will. Uh, uh, we need the national debate like this, and I can promise you that we will uh, work out the debate uh, format. Today, the participants represent uh, their um, positions. Uh, 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 the debate is organized by Suspilnist NGO Campus uh, uh, 3.0, UCMC, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, Romansk TV. Uh, and now about very popular question to all the candidates, how you plan to uh, overcome the transport collapse in Kyiv? Uh, or the issue of traffic jams. This is extremely complicated problem, which actually uh, spoils the quality of life in Kyiv. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, find a solution in the construction of new roads. Uh, because in uh, 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 Kiev, every morning, uh, people from the left bank travel to the right bank, and uh, uh, then in the evening they go back. That's why 
we should ensure that each bank should conduct well-balanced lifestyle um, without focusing attention on this uh, 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 we would not be able to resolve that. If we uh, relocate the uh, Supreme Court uh, to Trayeshina uh, Dormitory um, District, uh, we immediately will see the steering uh, of life there. Uh, also, the micro buses. Uh, the uh, drivers of microbuses should not be allowed to um, to take cash. Uh, they should have cash machines. Uh, the city leadership does not have any transportation or transport reform strategy because 40 percent of transport in Kiev is a transit transport. There are no uh, in uh, intersection hubs. Uh, if you do not have such stations or uh, hubs, uh, transport hubs uh, at the entrances to the sea, at least Obama terminal metro station, Zhitomorska, etc. Uh, on the other hand, we observe how uh, the buses from Belarus are procured. On the other hand, the existent uh, bus companies are destroyed. Uh, uh, while the micro buses uh, uh, go in front of public transport, they collect all uh, the money which should go to the public transport. Uh, and public transport remains uh, um, the, um, it remains in losses. So we have to provide the quality public transport. You want to increase the quality of public transport. Do you want to increase the number of buses, trolley buses, whatever? In Kiev, we have sufficient quantity of uh, uh, public transport. Do not, do not allow uh, the microbuses to follow municipal routes. We have to get rid of microbuses. This is not a European practice. We should build the special transport hubs. We have written uh, the, about intersection hubs. Um, Yuri Levchenko, thank you. We have two major problems. Uh, you mentioned uh, master plans, uh, and we have to change the master plan. But we do not keep with the master plan even now, because in the case of uh, following master plan, we would not have the illegal constructions and uh, the uh, collapses in transport problem. Unfortunately, many representatives in the Kiev Municipal uh, Council voted for allocation of land plots uh, unlawfully, uh, which conflicts with the master plan. With the, mas with the transport, uh, it is very easy. We should replace small buses with the a tray uh, with the um, big uh, uh, public transport uh, uh, 
uh, about left bank, uh, uh, we should substitute substitute the uh, public transport with the railway transport. We should construct we should construct the tram on the northern bridge. Uh, uh, we have to renew or revive the rails for tram on the northern bridge. Uh, this will be less expensive than to construct metro to Trajana. Do you have uh, the master draft master plan for cave? Uh, the cave master uh, plan could not be drafted by the election uh, headquarters uh, of a municipal candidate about the draft. Uh, the master plan which existed in the draft, uh, it is worse uh, than the existent master plan. But the uh, municipal authorities have to take previous master plan and develop it. Some more never uh, gave any vote against the unlawful constructions in the Kiev Municipal Council. I would like to respond to Levchenko's uh, uh, statement that the tram on the Paton Bridge should be uh, brought back uh, to the uh, current uh, master plan. The current master plan provided for demolition of rails, uh, tram rails, uh, on the Paton Bridge. Uh, perhaps uh, yes, but perhaps uh, we will construct uh, the ra tram rails on the Padil Bridge because we do not expect the metro to go on the left bank to Trajan Dormitory District in nearest future. The tram line is able to transport ten times more passengers than any buses or trolleybuses. Or perhaps we use uh, railway transport uh, uh, on the railway bridge. Thus, we will cut down the load on the roads and increase potentially the number of jobs on the left bank. Dear friends, I would like to say that during the last few Months uh, the Paton Bridge is under modernization. Actually, the Paton Bridge is uh, uh, gradually falling down. Is reading something about voting, very old voting from 2014 in the municipal council since he speaks extremely quickly. It's not possible to follow him up. It's not possible to translate him because he speaks extremely quickly even in Ukraine. Uh, and now Mr. Gosovsky answers and recollects another voting from train 2016 and confirms that their party took very proactive position voting against unlawful construction. Then this much. Native country, Denis Marchuk. Yes, we have problems, we should resolve it. Yeah, we face this problem and transport overload we face here in Kiev. This is not only connected with the presence of big 
number of transport. This is also connected with the big number of uh, construction, development, and it is difficult for transport to turn. And there should be proper parking spaces, parking lots, and there should be proper permits provided for construction of these buildings, of these parking lots, and uh, we should have modern transport services, municipal transport services, buses, trolley buses. Our team believe that before speaking about the launch of new transport, we should develop modern logistics system to improve connections and to build infrastructure, trams, electric buses, trolley buses, and to provide a broad opportunity for key events. They should uh, have their cars uh, uh, somewhere in the outskirts and they, then they should go by public transport in Kyiv. So 36% of Kievans live in uh, the left bank and only 18% work there and people go from the left bank to the right bank to work and then in the evening they return. We should go back to the master plan. Why? What we see concerning development and uh, trading centers, business centers, class B buildings are absent in the left bank. We should have a proper strategy of development to balance these things. Those people who reside in the left bank, they should work in the left bank. Second aspect, I would like to remind to you that transport is also a big impact on environment. 80% of emissions to atmosphere go from cars and uh, there should be replacement of uh, mini buses for buses, rail transport should be in place and electri electrical cars should be used to reduce emissions in the atmosphere from cars. Uh, so thank you Evgeny Firsov. Thank God everyone was able to express their opinion and our position concerning the development of the city. This is the modern strategy of the city that will include all those trends. Modern cities develop. This is about climate change control and the next document should be the concept of integrated development of Kiev based on which technical tasks should be developed to develop master plan and that should be done with big participation of the community, of the public. And uh, we believe that uh, Kievans should be those who order this master plan of the city and we know where to find money for this work. Unfortunately, there was no political will and we hope that this political will will appear. The problem of traffic jams, this is the, about the use of transport. We should reduce the need for the use of transport and uh, we believe that people should work where they live. We should develop the regions and there shouldn't be monocentricity in the city. We should develop public transport, uh, environmentally friendly transport. We should develop infrastructure, all those steps we should make, but we should first decrease demand for the use of um, personal auto transport. So this is about master plan. I would like to remind you that formally master plan exists. It was adopted in uh, uh, 2002 uh, uh, and uh, this plan, we believe uh, um, it should be changed, but uh, some people say that uh, it is non-existent. Uh, existent. 
and um, uh, there should be proper discussions concerning this document. Uh, we have one extra question to you. Many people speak about it. Uh, the question from students community. Uh, how are you going to fight illegal development? They influence everything. The development of the city, transport infrastructure, and people who formulated this question, they named the term that this is the development or construction mafia. Do you agree with this term? Yuri Seratyuk is given the floor. Dear friends, as I said in the beginning, uh, 150 people come to the council and uh, they are optimistic and then they support the um, construction mafia. And we should see who uh, is going to form the majority and who will uh, uh, represent the strategy. Uh, so there were many illegal construction sites in Kiev. And uh, when we are speaking about mafia, uh, this involves many uh, bodies and uh, uh, they uh, enforcement law enforcement bodies they fight minor offenses but they do not fight big cases so the land mafia it exists and uh, we should put a moratorium on um, illegal land um, allocation there is master plan 2020. Chernovetsky uh, developed non existent master plan 2025, and all of them, and uh, they introduced some detailed plans of territory that should specify the position of overall master plan, and they changed uh, positions. And we uh, filed the cases to the court, and um, also. Uh, we stopped uh, some of these uh, legal constructions, but this is a huge problem. Please come to some conclusion. Uh, the city should develop, but this should be done legally in accordance with the master plan that is approved. And those who go to the city council, they should put, um, impose moratorium on illegal development. We didn't see this. Uh, um, plan, uh, this master plan. We should carry out an audit of uh, current master plan, what is done and what is not. And you should understand where you are. When we are speaking about master plan, they speak about only square meters, and this is not correct. And what about social infrastructure? And in Galicia, they built a um, block and there is no uh, poly uh, clinics. And new communications uh, on the ground, they should be set. And the Klitschko, he didn't present this document during the sessions. So um, Alexander Rak is given the floor. Representative of Voice Party. So first land is allocated and city council provides this and second, the limitations, and this is within the capacities of the proper department. And there is a master plan that should be adopted by the council. Detailed plans of the territory is adopted by city council. And um, rep, uh, city council has all the opportunity to fi fight illegal construction and to, to cancel contracts and to, to change master plan. We need a master plan that would be new and the community, if you're speaking about this draft, the uh, community, they should uh, like this plan. They shouldn't say that uh, there are many illegal construction sites. And we have one des design institute and it uh, developed all half of these illegal pl detailed plans of territory and they were adopted by the council. We should change the situation. We need European principles, participation, and the new master plan that will be adopted by the city, by the community, not by the group of the deputies that were bribed by someone. Uh, Yuri Levchenko, please. First, we repeat that we do not have master plan, but we have a master plan that is uh, relevant and it will 
exist until the new master plan is adopted. We should adhere to law because the law envisages that any development should correspond to the master plan. And what we see, council votes uh, uh, for violations of this plan. We see that uh, limitations uh, are provided that are illegal. Um, so uh, in the left bank uh, of Kiev, there are some lands uh, that are industrial ones, and they build housing there now, and this is illegal. We should adhere to law, and then the situation would be normal. Kievans should follow who goes to the city council, because all parliamentary factions, big players, they have people who voted for illegal land allocation and uh, illegal uh, conditions were provided. And uh, uh, in Abalun region, uh, even Bogatov, uh, he also um, contributed to the illegal allocation of land and illegal development. And uh, they, uh, Mr. Lisovsky said about fighting this illegal construction uh, and for example, in Syria, uh, in v Vavilova 9th Street, they want to build a huge housing complex. And Samopovich uh, 13 vote, uh, voted for this uh, um, construction, and uh, nine, uh, 13 people from this faction voted for this construction. So we uh, now Mr. Gusovsky will give the answer. I believe that our debates are about Kiev, not about debates with Mr. Levchenko. What about the illegal land allocation, provision of land uh, for uh, infrastructure? We should uh, specify things, whether some land allocation is illegal, because um, um, cases fail in courts, and in each separate case, we may hold separate press conferences. The matter is, if there is a decision of a Kiev Council, so then this is a illegal construction. If we have a master plan that everyone knows about this plan, it was published. If there is a green area and they pull, uh, put a skyscraper there, but maybe the council introduced changes to the master plan, the council hand over the land uh, with proper um, um, land allocation uh, and they uh, and if they say go to uh, the court, this is just a circus to put the question in such a way. I would like to add several words. Yuri Levchenko said the general plan exists, no matter what your attitude toward it is. So I will tell you even more. The draft is also on the internet. But there were no dis public discussions on Kiev on this, and uh, you may hold um, remote discussions, not in person. Uh, Golas Gusovsky were mentioned, but the main guy is this, who is guilty. So uh, people voted for. Uh, him. Unfortunately, we do not have this guy in the studio, but he uh, would, uh, but uh, uh, about Abalone, about development, uh, uh, I didn't study this issue of development in Abalone, about financing of Golas Party, maybe uh, the main part of financing, these are tax state financing of the party. I will repeat, this is public information. Uh, voice participants said that Tomas Fiala, Dragon Capital owner, is the main who contributes financially. Uh, he is the investor of this illegal construction in Obolon region. 
please respond briefly about development in the Obolon district. I cannot comment on this. Uh, I do not know about it. I was not present there. This is not my part of activity. About Mr. Klitschko and Branivitsky, General uh, Design Institute uh, Director Branivitsky, and he is also um, campaigning for the position. So he has support from Klitschko to uh, develop in the city further. Uh, how are you going to fight illegal construction? To uh, cancel those land allocations that are illegal, this is the only way for the city council that they can use. Sergei Gusovsky now. Evgenia Kuleba, uh, master plan, we have it. There are many different corrections to this plan, but clearly I would like to say that uh, the new master plan will resolve many of these issues if those who order this plan are key ones and the uh, the development, they have teams of people, they have lawyers who search for land plots. So the development is done not by the city council, this should be a synergy. And it's great that Kiev is being developed. It means that the city wants to uh, develop and uh, to provide new opportunities for people, but the development of the city should be defined not by the developers, but uh, the city power together with the key events, they should uh, identify these uh, um, points for development and uh, master plan, new master plan will fix all these rules in accordance with which we will exist together. So this is an interesting situation. Lawyers go and search for land in Kiev. I imagine this picture. They go, for example, the sports grounds and they say, now we will have 25 story building here. In the Galicia region, uh, they constructed a building on the school stadium. And uh, uh, the lawyer Vasil Khmelnytsky, uh, she was in court in the schools, they do not plant trees, parkings, and the city power, they just keep silence. And they should uh, address law enforcers and Mr. Avakov and his guys, they should respond. And uh, there were no such declarations. And uh, I closely monitored uh, the arguments about the developers on the list. And uh, environmental alternative, uh, we um, checked the. We have many people who are professionals on our team. And in the top parties, there are developers. And for Kiev, this is uh, really. Um, uh, big money and uh, uh, Roman Siram wife and uh, uh, the daughter of Glimpkovsky who is a, a renowned developer, they are also on the list and in different parties we have such people and uh, this is just a spit in the face of Kievans because they ho go to the council, uh, to, the po uh, to power just uh, to uh, get the money. So um, we ask people to study carefully for whom you vote on the team. And uh, Mr. Gostosovsky is given the floor for the final word in this block. It's great that general plan, uh, this word uh, was repeatedly mentioned in our discussion, but there is lack of self-governance of quality and modern relations between the city and the state. I would like to remind to you, maybe you saw this, have seen this, uh, those announcements uh, that are illegal on the walls of buildings, uh, that uh, uh, they um, um, want to 
make illegal construction legal? And do you know who are these frauds? Does the Minister of Culture mention today uh, the limitations, uh, the decisions are taken by the Ministry of Culture, whether they uh, can build some higher uh, buildings. Uh, the Ministry of, Inf of Infrastructure, they also do not care about state uh, construction norms and they should be improved for the benefit of the country. And also responsibility of uh, uh, city power. And there were some uh, cases in courts uh, concerning Asakarki region development uh, and uh, also uh, there were some advertisements in the um, uh, metro uh, stations. They asked people to buy this property because it is cheaper and this, uh, these investors, they were not provided with the services they paid for. So there is responsibility of state structures and the city uh, power and people should be brought to responsibility for this. Now let's uh, shift to another round which will deal with environmental protection with ecology of the city. Kiev uh, had uh, become uh, an item in the list uh, uh, of the most polluted cities in, on the planet. Uh, um, whether your teams has uh, uh, any strategy how to stand for the uh, 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 environmental issues, how do you plan to uh, improve the air quality in Kiev to install filters, uh, air cleaning uh, 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 facilities, etc. Yuri Lavchenko. Mm -hmm. uh, If we uh, uh, think about uh, uh, ecology in Kiev, much could be done by the city mayor. The biggest source of uh, emissions is uh, uh, um, uh, the overload, overburden uh, imposed by the uh, private uh, cars. So people have to change uh, private uh, car transport for uh, electric municipal transport. Uh, the next point here is uh, about cutting of uh, trees in Kiev. Uh, the uh, huge uh, number of parks allegedly uh, uh, made by the current uh, team or uh, current mayor uh, is uh, made uh, at the courtyards while uh, hectares of uh, uh, green plants are cut uh, uh, in some land plots where later the skyscrapers appear. Uh, uh, unless we uh, bring to order these two things, the municipal public transport and the increasing of green zones in Kiev, we won't be able to resolve this issue. I would like to mention that we have big challenges like Radon plant, uh, uh, but your rules allow only 90 seconds. The, uh, the question was as follows, whether we should uh, uh, extend the um, imposition, installation of uh, filters uh, uh, 
filters on the CHP is not about transport, but you have answered that one. Uh, uh, you ask the question, what uh, uh, influences the pollution the most? We had the same CHPs for dozens of years while emissions grow every year. The balance in the energy system in this country changes from atomic energy to the coal uh, uh, CHPs. If you wish to be happy, to be content with the 30, with the 90 seconds, then please ask the direct question or well, ask the question directly. The pollution of uh, uh, in the city does not, uh, uh, is not connected with the uh, combined heating plant on the left bank. The biggest problem in uh, Kyiv is that we have poor waste management. We have uh, um, the, um, uh, waste uh, landfills uh, uh, and a lot of uh, uh, green uh, waste uh, is uh, later burnt. Burning of green waste in the city uh, could not and should not be burned, as well as uh, the garbage waste should not be burned. Uh, we have to construct the uh, sorting facilities, allocate land plots, do sorting, and then supply the sorted garbage to the treatment, uh, waste treatment plants. Denis Marchuk, the native country. Uh, of course, environment is the key issue for each party going to the elections. And uh, we have the program, which is called Our Native Kiev, which is aimed at the improvement of the environmental situation in the city. Uh, and... Uh, uh, up to 50,000 uh, people uh, every year die because of the polluted air in Kyiv. Uh, we have to think about uh, that uh, 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 turf uh, and uh, marsh fields which uh, get uh, ignited every year and uh, they uh, keep uh, uh, burning for, ten, uh, for, for uh, months. Uh, uh, people should be informed about each such case to be ready to take their own measures. This only was to emphasize that Something here depends on us, and we can do some measures ourselves about CHPs. We won't be able to resolve the problem immediately, but we have to try to tackle the problem. Yehor Firsov, this is the question directly to your environmental alternative party. Environmental issues are number one for us because uh, people's health uh, depends on the air, on water, on proximity of landfills. Uh, half uh, uh, people uh, in Kiev would not reach the age of 60 years. When it comes uh, to uh, the air quality, we should modernize Darnitsa CHP as soon as possible. We have an action plan how to modernize it. Uh, 
we have to remove the landfill from the proximity of uh, uh, the uh, uh, damp, the uh, waste damp which exists near that CHP. Uh, then uh, uh, we believe that each key event uh, have to be able and later should uh, be responsible for sorting of the garbage and we have to get rid of big uh, and small landfills which we have in each district except perhaps the very central. Mm. Then we have to modernize the uh, water, 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 uh, water canal and provide all the key events with the portable water like another uh, 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 well then we invite Serotuk. Uh I I'm from Soboda part uh, Ilenka is our uh, uh, mayor. Uh, what for? What we had been doing during that five years in the Kiev Council? We did the uh, filters disappear from Darnitsa CHP. They were voluntarily removed by Akhmetov. When we speak about CHPs and about Darnitsa, we immediately recollect that somebody has to pay for that filters. And today, when they are removed by Akhmetov, uh, you will pay for them from your own pocket. We have to teach children uh, environmental culture, how to sort the garbage. Uh, when you uh, try to sort garbage uh, today and uh, the garbage collecting track uh, comes, they simply take that sorted garbage as one bulk and transport it to, to the landfill when, where it is not sorted. Mm. Uh, and the Serhi Husovsky, we all wish to breathe with the fresh air. Uh, and what you plan to do as a mayor? You mentioned today energia, the uh, garbage, uh, the waste burning plant. Uh, we have to install new modern filters in it. Also, I would like to emphasize that the self governance component in uh, the uh, city's environment is very important. Uh, and uh, in Abalone, many people understand that asphalt uh, plant and illegal burning of uh, uh, wind tires, uh, it uh, of course pollutes the air, so the city uh, counts still has to uh, apply systemic approach. Uh, uh, on Elena Pchilka Street now, we have three murders, uh, so to say. Uh, unfortunately, the sound disappears. We cannot hear properly. Thank you, Evgenia Koleba from the Servant of the People Party. First of all, any work in this area should be done from the quality monitoring about the pollution level 
uh, of course, we can rely on the international ratings, but the city should have its monitoring system itself and to warn citizens about any threats for their health. Uh, and the health of Kievans had become the uh, priority for the uh, city council as well as it is in other cities around the world. Uh, of course, we have to build up a new uh, waste burning uh, plant. Of course, the old way of uh, uh, waste management uh, is inappropriate any longer, and uh, uh, we have to raise public awareness about uh, 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 waste management. Uh, uh, then we should uh, uh, find uh, how to uh, sort, uh, uh, how to uh, process and treat the sorted garbage. The city should provide all the citizens with this uh, opportunity to uh, process each uh, type of waste which is sorted by people. On October 25th, we will vote for the uh, mayors, for the self-government, uh, and uh, I encourage you to come uh, and uh, to read all the information well in advance. Now we are going to have the block of our questions about security. Uh, unfortunately, Kyiv is the leader in the uh, spread of epidemic. And what do you plan to do to cut down this threat and not to kill the economy at the same time? Alexander, please. Mr. Pretula team, COVID-19 pandemic has several components, security component, healthcare and economic component. There may be a full lockdown to preserve some lives. And from the other side, there will be some economic losses. We as a party believe that we should preserve rather big distance between people, social distancing should be in place, and on transport, for example, in many buses, it is difficult to adhere to the norms, and the police should control this. And uh, I would like to say that on transport, we should do some changes there. We should have a quicker turnover and we should not have queues, uh, for example, like in uh, Mi Minsk station. They do not have limitations there. They do not observe social distancing. People should observe the social distancing, but they should be able to go to work. This is first. Second, healthcare. We should provide all the necessary things to our doctors. Unfortunately, at the start of sp in, uh, spring, they said that uh, um, there were not enough ventilators in the hospital. And this hospital was communal one, and the city should have provided for this hospital. So does it mean that more road buses are needed. There should be efficiency in transport. There shouldn't be traffic jams. We should allocate a line for public transport. 
and there should be smaller intervals. Now, Mikola Taminka, team representative, please. This is a global issue. This is not only the problem of Kiev, this is a problem of uh, different countries, and the uh, health of people is top priority. And there are social responsibility of the state to uh, provide the opportunity for business to work uh, because there may be some negative consequences that can lead to uh, this. And uh, I believe that uh, in Kiev we need uh, to um, uh, prevent the citizens from assemblies uh, and the people who organize these assemblies, they should be punished in the form of fines and they should be deprived of licenses to work. And uh, for example, in small cafes, we may ban to accept visitors, but in nightclubs, there are big parties and owners do not bear any responsibility. And in several days, we have new ad outbreak in Kiev. That's why we should pay attention to this. We spoke about master plan and uh, it envisages the number of beds supported by the city. And we should work on this issue. We should improve health care for our Kievans. And uh, this COVID problem, you lay this problem on the shoulders of Kievans. No, no, I do not do this. We, as conscious citizens, we should adhere to the rules, and the business should adhere to the rules too, and the city should use sanctions in order to stop the spread of pandemic, and uh, they should ban the work of nightclubs, or if there are no masks, uh, uh, and waiters, they should wear masks. Who should be responsible for this wearing of masks uh, in the restaurants? So, uh, Igor Firsov, uh, Environmental Initiative. Uh, it's a pity that Klitschko is absent today because actions of local power, they should be logical and uh, it should, uh, they should be well forecast for the citizens. And uh, on the big boards, they ask us not to uh, go everywhere. They ban to us. Um, they prohibit us to go to the park. And now they allow concerts uh, to be held, uh, stadiums, uh, in order that people are able to go there. This is not normal. There is no logic in this. We have pandemic situation, and uh, the mayor. During his press conference, he says that Kiev lacks uh, ventilators and local hospitals are no, not able to cope with the number of um, patients. But this is not adequate. Look at the actions of power. In Paris, the power, they build hundreds, I stress this, uh, stress this hundreds of uh, um, kilometers of roads uh, for bikes, but our power does not, uh, didn't do this. Um, and uh, this is comfortable to go by bus, and uh, um, our power didn't do this. So uh, these uh, lanes for bikes and lanes for public transport, these should be priorities for local power. So uh, I said about these uh, bike lanes, uh, like in Paris, and we should introduce it. Uh, Mr. Siratuk, please. When we are speaking about security, we should remember about one more threat. The virus of Putin kills in, like, in, uh, like COVID, and uh, we should deal with it. And um, we are in the road, red zone of terror. About pandemic situation, we have PR pandemic, and we do not have a strategy to resolve the problem. European countries increased the number of testings, and uh, our people were not allowed to go out, and planned operations were not carried out, and the uh, health of patients deteriorated. Um, so, 1,500 tests are done per day, and uh, there is no proper planned uh, treatment. 
and the Klitschko and other officials hold press conferences, but they should provide for people to help them with their treatment. We have big problems with the um, deterioration of people's health, and we cannot keep people in closed premises. We will have more ill people because of this. We are speaking about the transport, and not all people go to work uh, for nine. Maybe some should go um, at eight or at ten o'clock. So we see a lot of PR concerning COVID, but we do not see national or local strategy. So now we face a threat, and we see that during these ten, nine months, nothing has been done. Um, Sergei Gusovsky, uh, given the floor. Thank you, colleagues. It's a multi-component construction. Of course, there is uh, the COVID-19 problem and uh, uh, non-professional solutions. I might remind you that uh, uh, in uh, uh, March, the uh, matter was stopped and uh, all the land uh, transport was not, uh, remained unchanged. And uh, uh, now, when anybody wishes uh, to stop the matter, uh, uh, this would be extremely bad. Uh, for example, even New York um, underground, uh, they uh, Sub, uh, subway. They never stopped it uh, uh, in uh, Holosev. We have 40 precinct policemen, whether they uh, carry out their functions properly, whether they um, uh, they work with the hostels and keep order in hostels instead of fighting with the old women uh, uh, who uh, unlawfully trade in the streets. Uh, uh, that's why the security issue is a multi-component one, and we should apply structural approach to resolve it. Yevhenia Kuleba, the servant of the people. When we speak about security in the times of pandemic, we have to reflect properly that uh, we would uh, we have to exist in this reality and we would have to exist in it for some time longer. That's why we have to resolve the issue how to transport people, how people can uh, uh, move and how to limit the contacts of people. This is again about the development of uh, uh, districts and uh, uh, Kyiv has uh, to be de Decentralized. We have to uh, to resolve the issue of micro mobility. The uh, left bank has uh, very good preconditions for bicycle ways. Uh, uh, mm. As for the public transport ways, we have allocated them for the uh, public transport and for bicycles. Uh, then the flows of people, they should be divided. Uh, then the uh, medical issues, the uh, ambulance cars, uh, uh, they are subordinated to the mayor today. Many Kievites die because the ambulance cars arrive uh, not in time. And of here, of course, of course, we have to carry out the public awareness campaign. They should be able to trace how the ambulance car uh, moves. I would like to inform you that we have been working for two hours already. I suggest to look at the COVID-19 issue.
we you started uh, from the uh, security and then extended it to COVID. Uh, you may focus on COVID now, and then we will ask separate question about uh, uh, general security. With the COVID, we have uh, very simple. The 60 billion budget uh, should be used not for enrichment of Vitaly Klitschko and his uh, team, and uh, if they won't Till that money would be able to provide all the Kievans with the free tests. Uh, so tests and uh, treatment of the um, target groups should be the focus of the municipal authorities. Any lockdowns, any quarantine limitations would not work properly unless the leadership of the city provide good examples. When small cafes are forced to be closed and uh, 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 while uh, but when Avalon restaurant, which belongs Klitschko, uh, works uh, around the clock and uh, police patrol goes there and then leaves without any um, uh, consequences, then this is uh, uh, improper. Yuri, thank you. Uh, maybe uh, COVID topic uh, perhaps should be uh, can extended uh, the one third of uh, uh, beds and cave hospitals are equipped with oxygen supply. We have enough beds, but we do not have sufficient number of oxygen supply equipment. The question whether we have to provide more oxygen uh, support, oxygen provision uh, facility whether to buy special equipment or equip beds with uh, oxygen supply or perhaps build up a special hospital for COVID-19 patients. We have resources to uh, uh, provide the hospitals with uh, oxygen equipment. Uh, 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 seven billions were uh, wasted on roads, on uh, uh, highway bridges, and I may uh, uh assure you that uh, 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 hundreds of billions of hryvnia were stolen because of the reconstructions of highways, bridges, uh, and the creation of so-called parks. And uh, uh, while the pandemic uh, uh, may require treatment of uh, people, uh, as for the separate hospital for COVID-19 patients, uh, we should uh, use the, all the available resources for re-equipment and modernization of all uh, key of hospitals, but this allows contacts uh, for uh, COVID-19 patients uh, and uh, uh, patients uh, in I would like to remind uh, that in early this year, the central budget was reformatted. Uh, and uh, like in the state, uh, 
uh, much money was given for construction of roads, and in Kiev, three billion hryvnia were allocated for um, the COVID-19. We see a lot of corrupt uh, things about uh, uh, medical supplies. Uh, medical supplies. Uh, in Kiev, we have a lot of companies who are able to provide uh, uh, the emergency equipment for COVID-19 patients, the masks, uh, PPE, etc. But uh, this is due to corruption that they uh, they are not involved into uh, supplies. Majority of you mentioned about testing. What do you mean? What who should be tested? People and enterprises. In Ukraine, in Kiev, we have 2,500 tests every day. But um, in uh, Kiev, there are a lot of ordinary patients who should be treated, but upon a testing and uh, all uh, 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 children in Kiev went to school while no te uh, neither teachers nor children, they were not tested for COVID because our capacity to test population are very limited. Uh, uh, I believe that those people who contact with uh, uh, a lot of other people, like teachers, like policemen, like uh, doctors, they should be tested uh, obligatory. Serhii Husovsky, I would like to provide uh, two specific uh, uh, cases today. Uh, the hospitals are provided uh, uh, with PPEs by 77%. They should be corrected. Uh, they should have more than 100% of PPE supplies because we are approaching to winter season. When we think about uh, um, relations between Kyiv as the city and Kyiv as the capital of this uh, country. Mm. And we look at 35 billion of money uh, uh, spent by the central government on road construction. We believe that the capital, the city, my approach to the government and request uh, to allocate the special hospitals, which all are located in the Kiev city, for treatment of COVID-19 patients. Uh, the city should inform uh, uh, Kievans about uh, possibility uh, to protect themselves, how, about the measures of individual protection. Now, this is not well uh, um, uh, promoted now, and uh, there is a big threat. The city is not ready for big numbers of uh, 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 infected people. We should continue to inform, inform people about uh, uh, current situation. The next, we should increase the material base mm, of the hospitals. We have to provide sufficient amount of PPE to the hospitals. Uh, As for the construction of separate hospitals for COVID-19 patients, I do not. Uh, it seems to me that is a bit populistic measure. We have to reorganize uh, 
the uh, uh, services or reconstruct uh, uh, the hospitals which we already have. The responsible citizens have to stop pandemic. They should limit their social contacts. They should limit their uh, uh, transportation. And thus, we will get rid of the pandemic. I believe that the COVID will remain with us for a long period of time. And uh, uh, here we should rely on vaccination and uh, we may recollect the virus infections which uh, uh, the world had in the past. I do not think that or we uh, um, we may be uh, satisfied with just one hospital for COVID-19 patients in Kiev. We should perhaps preserve that uh, um, departments or uh, uh, buildings uh, uh, allocated for COVID-19 patients in many hospitals in Kiev uh, and allow them. In Kiev, we have big density of population, and in any case, we will have social contacts, we will have a big number of um, uh, patients anyway. But uh, we have to be prepared to that. We should provide uh, sufficient treatment, we should uh, uh, guarantee good provisions, good supplies uh, to the hospitals. Uh, 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 the level with, uh, of uh, PPE supplies at the seventy seven percent. I am not sure that's true. It was Alexander Rock from Golos Party, Denis Marchuk. Uh, the native country. I'm not an expert to say what should be done. We have the Ministry of Health Care. Uh, 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 many physicians uh, keep saying that the prevention is a huge thing and uh, uh, and uh, many politicians uh, uh, keep saying that uh, we have enough money for medical supplies to the hospitals and uh, we have to protect uh, doctors and uh, uh, with the uh, mm, winter coming, we will have more flu cases, etc. That's why that money that we have in the city should be aimed at prevention uh, among doctors. Yegor uh, Fyrsov. We have to develop a strategy. We and for studies of foreign experience, and especially the case of Italy. In uh, our statistic of COVID uh, confirmation is at the level of 25%, which suggests that people come for testing um, at late stages, because in Europe this is 5%. Uh, uh, we should have uh, 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 four things uh, when birds are equipped with uh, PPEs, with anesthesiologists, with oxygen, and uh, with uh, um, equipment for the ventilation of lungs. Uh, then increase the number of tests. Uh, uh, and also we stand for organization of special hospital for COVID-19 uh, 
19 patients because we do not uh, uh, know the number of uh, uh, potential patients in the nearest future. It might be a situation that our hospitals won't be able to cope with the huge numbers of patients. We have to prepare special hospital in the capital. Mr. Levchenko, did you have a possibility to express your opinion? Okay. Uh, uh. Uh, I recollect the I recollect the question about physical security, and uh, Mr. Saratyuk mentioned uh, uh, terrorism, and in this relation, Kiev is a vulnerable city. Now I suggest you to focus on lightning in remote areas, uh, what, uh, how this could be resolved. Uh, I think that modern technologies like lead lightning uh, allow this. On the other hand, uh, the in uh, at night, electricity is much cheaper. Now the question to you. How do you suggest to resolve the issue of uh, 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 criminal threats? With the beginning of, of the Russian uh, aggression, Kiev is the city with increased terrorist threat. Uh, Kiev, as the capital of Ukraine, remains the goal number one for terrorists. But uh, unfortunately, nothing is done in terms of counteraction to terrorism. I mean, uh, power. Uh, I mean, public awareness. I mean, uh, at least alarm buttons in the schools. Uh, 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 we have huge number of uh, surveillance uh, cameras, uh, but they are not integrated into one uh, uh, system, and uh, the uh, recordings from that uh, uh, cameras are bought by the interested people. Uh, we should remember about the Putin's threat. Uh, let's imagine that opposition uh, win and they all will go to the city council and in this case the terrorist threat may increase. And also the sales of uh, uh, s drugs, of speed drugs. Today we had a very good discussion. I believe that uh, uh, this was a brainstorming, good brainstorming for a future mayor. We have not only provided good tools for solution of the problems, but also to uh, uh, prove uh, uh, to find the ways how this should be used. You mentioned about surveillance cameras. Uh, they should be installed properly first, then should be connected to a network, and the third, they should be protected for from um, uh, unlawful use. For example, if the electronic ticket uh, does not function, does not operate, uh, you should not uh, go to buy tokens instead. Uh, 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 the, uh, uh, people should be um, provided with alternative ways to 
uh, to resolve their problems. I stand for the uh, smart and responsible solutions. As for the security, I won't like to limit uh, the security discussion with Lightning. I would like to mention challenges uh, in terms of security. Of course, uh, Lightning, uh, then the uh, uh, mm, uh, 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 the zones where there is no, no uh, uh, which are turned into landfills, uh, actually. Then in Kiev, we have a huge number of uh, uh, um, unfinished constructions, which is a big threat for teenagers, for young people under 25, and uh, quite often uh, teenager groups uh, and young people, they uh, come together to these unfinished construction sites. Uh, uh, the underground crossings, they are another big threat. Uh, they should be minimalized. Uh, and uh, those which remain, they are equipped uh, with uh, uh, alarm buttons. Uh, uh, also video surveillance. Uh, a solution to the security challenge should be found in systemic uh, uh, approach, in result of systemic approach. Yuri Levchenko. Speaking about security, there are two uh, uh, contributors to this issue. People should become uh, uh, um, richer, so to say. Uh, it, it, to do this, the city uh, power should work for the sake of Kievans. There should be no pressure on small and medium-sized businesses. Uh, they should not work in the interests of micro-oligarchs at the Kiev level. People should have good incomes in Kiev. On the other hand, the uh, state where the rule of law uh, exists. Uh, when we look at police in Kiev, which is not directly subordinated to the municipality, but it is very dependent on the municipal council. Uh, 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 and in reality, it has uh, uh, such uh, big impact on the overhauls. Uh, uh, when people protest against unlawful constructions, uh, police officers come and uh, uh, do not defend protesters uh, from those hooligans uh, who uh, defend the interests of unlawful constructors. And uh, uh, lightning is important, but the lightning will not help. Okay, we had come again to the issue of unlawful constructions. Alexander Rock. Even better lightning, uh, uh, when we analyze the lightning, the lightning lights uh, uh, the uh, roads primarily, not the pavements. Uh, actually, this has no impact on security. There are different uh, uh, factors which influence security. This is the community 
uh, uh, impact uh, when uh, local people, local community together with the local precinct, police precinct, uh, works on the security of their uh, district. Then we have big bands of teenagers uh, uh, in order to do uh, to prevent teenagers from uh, this uh, criminal uh, environment, we have to stream streamline their energy into sports activities or artistic activities, etc. And the uh, municipal guard should be involved. The issue with municipal guard is not uh, created. Uh, the biggest problems we have the uh, with the dormitory districts in Kiev uh, mm, and the level of uh, public transport uh, serving those dormitory districts will resolve the issue with dormitory districts. First of all, the security is guaranteed by the state in order for people to be feel uh, to be protected uh, we have to cooperate with the ministry of internal affairs uh, uh, and we have to extend the functions of the uh, municipal police forces and here, like in the area of uh, health care, we have to uh, uh, pay more attention on the uh, teenager criminals, uh, etc. We immediately find out that we do not devote attention to teenager sports. We do not offer anything to teenagers except going to the street. Igor Firsov, you are to find... Of course, the security issue for key events. I, when I worked for the ecological inspection, my car was burned up and uh, uh, my team tried to think about security. But if you compare the issue of the air uh, pollution, I may assure you that uh, the biggest murderer, the biggest killer in Kiev is polluted air. Uh, we have huge numbers of cancer patients. Uh, we have big mortality because of cancer. Uh, people have allergy because of uh, the air pollutions. This is because of waste damp in the center of Darnetsa, Darnetska uh, CHP. This story has to be uh, resolved. And now our organizers uh, suggest that uh, each uh, representative of the candidate made a separate intervention. You have 90 seconds to finalize uh, uh, with the final statement. I dreamt to pose the final question. Why do you think that Kievans will vote for you?
uh, the opinion of our team uh, is that uh, we should devote more attention to culture and education. Uh, uh, I do not agree with the approach when culture and education uh, are put at the end of the party program. I believe that uh, uh, many issues uh, uh, might be resolved in case of proper uh, education. Uh, I, here, speaking about education, uh, I mean, not just kindergarten, schools, etc. I uh, think about uh, public awareness, about education of key events, about master plan. We have to explain people why they should participate in the drafting of the master plan, why they should be involved in the the, but the, uh, uh, why they should control the air quality, mm. speaking about culture. We would speak less about lightning and uh, surveillance cameras if children would have access to sports, uh, to uh, uh, um, uh, uh, amateur uh, teams to arts, uh, education, etc. That's why our team will devote more attention to education, uh, culture, etc. Because uh, the, uh, we want to have a smart uh, voters. Uh, and here we again come to education and culture. I have to leave. Thank you very much. Sergei Gusovsky. It is very important to understand uh, um, or to uh, uh, quarrel uh, who e works in whose team. I would like uh, to add that the team, the Kiev team is very important. In Kiev, we have 170 million hryvnia allocated for uh, public projects. Uh, and uh, many people participate in uh, voting and distribution of that uh, big budget, while the key budget uh, has uh, several billions, Rovna, and uh, the district councils may contribute much to the development of the key districts. Key events may take uh, powers in their hands and bring back the self-governance. Uh, Yuri Saratyuk, the key of city requires and deserves the better development. We have many lost opportunities. Uh, I was the leader of the opposition faction. We did not vote for land issues. We went, we uh, applied to courts. But I believe that we can do the city better. In Khmelnytsky, we have better uh, city mayor. Uh, in Frankivsk, we have better mayor than in Kyiv. Uh, having spent five years in the opposition and working honestly, first we had to uh, mm, uh, report on our achievements during the last uh, 
In the city council, we have 65 members who are just dead souls. Kiev deserves for the better, and Svoboda would like to turn Kiev into the better city. In Kiev, we will have two coalitions, the Led Coalition and the uh, Patriotic Coalitions. Uh, I am very proud because of my achievements, and he quickly mentioned his uh, uh, achievements. Uh, why Sir believes Levchenko? I would like to thank you that uh, we have uh, participants of the debates, and please pay attention who have not appeared on these debates. Uh, during each elections, once in five years, the Kievan see good programs, big boards, five kindergartens, 25 kindergartens, five or three more metro stations. There is a contest of uh, empty promises, while the uh, reallocation of land plots uh, happens uh, during the, each term of each power. And the Kiev uh, and Kiev becomes less and less comfortable for its citizens. So I encourage you to vote for those who uh, wishes to work in the interests of Kievans before putting your ticks in the bulletin. You should look at the biography. You should check how people voted in the Kiev City Council and try to understand what is their motivation for uh, work in the council. Uh, unless you have uh, devoted uh, uh, um, workers in the, C in the municipal council, uh, I encourage you to read the Narodavladya newspaper. We do not have billboards. Our newspaper is black and white. And we go to Kiev rather to work for the local community. Alexander Ro Rak represents Serhi Pertula. Unfortunately, we have not covered the security of uh, uh, road traffic. Uh, I will ask the organizers. Uh, the local community has to contribute to local solutions, and the Golas Party re-list. It's not the uh, um, list of the um, uh, old party members, but this is the list of civic activists and experts. I'm a civic activist in the area of transport and traffic. That we have a lot of different people, students, non-students, experts in different areas. When people uh, will go to elections five years later and uh, to see real changes, uh, we have our strategy to represent broad uh, uh, layers of population, and we encourage you to vote for us. Serhi Denis Marchuk. Uh, today we have to breathe a new uh, force into Kiev. We have to bring professional people to Kiev leadership. Uh, we encourage you to vote for 
our team who has sportsmen, environmental experts, and even Mikola Tamanka's name proves that we have huge experience. I trust that key events will analyze properly the ideas which we uh, uh, stated today. And I hope that we will have new Kiev City Council, which work for the sake uh, of the Kievans and the Igor Fyrsov uh, environmental uh, alternative. Kiev is one of the biggest capitals in Kiev, and uh, we um, we. Uh, uh, suffer from landfills, from unlawful landfills. Uh, we have the pollutants uh, like CHP, CHPs, which work with uh, um, coal. We cannot drink potable water from, uh, we cannot drink tap water. And uh, this makes us different from Europe. Our team environmental initiative has a big ambition to improve this situation we had brought together the professional environmental experts climate experts uh, lawyers urbanists etc you won't find among us uh, uh, developers, corruptioners, etc. We want to change for the better situation with the ecology. We have a direct purpose to make Kiev free from garbage, to make free from uh, uh, dirty water and uh, to, to make more green zones. Uh, we have a lot of tasks. Our team, the environmental alternative, want to turn Kyiv into environmentally safe city. Uh, dear participants, we thank to uh, to you for discussion. We had not only debate today; it was a brainstorming session and. What is important that we ju not just had a stream today, uh, we have accumulated that knowledge. We have Konstantin Shakala, who is a uh, leader of the analyst team of the Joint Action Initiative. Actually, we have been drafting information not for the future mayor, but we will prepare information for all the Ukrainian citizens who um, uh, who is interested in local sub-governments. Uh, of course, you are courageous people. You had come to have debate. Uh, we are grateful to you. Civilized debates is a key uh, tool which allows people to make right uh, choice. Uh, and not to be seduced with bribes, with fancy billboards, uh, uh, etc. And I wish us all the voters to make uh, uh, well-informed decisions. I wish you strong health and to make the best choice. Thank you. Thank you.